Outside of Rockford, health experts say the new Johnson & Johnson vaccine could help rural areas. 13 News reporter Lauren Baker finds out why one Stevenson County health expert says this is a good sign for many small communities. It's a game changer in the fight against the COVID-19 pandemic. I really think the door that's opening is we are being able to vaccinate more people now. Health officials like FHN's infection preventionist Margie Coachmeyer says they will be able to do that thanks to the FDA approval of the Johnson Johnson vaccine. She says having a third vaccine will especially help rural areas in northern Illinois. One of the really positive things about this vaccine, especially in a rural area, is it's one time. And now instead of taking the time to do a second vaccination, the next time we go out, we're going to do another big group of people and get them vaccinated. Right now, more than 7% of Stevenson County's population is fully vaccinated, which is over the state average of 6%. Orangeville Village President Mike Sheetslog says he hopes this momentum can continue with the new vaccine. I guess my concern is that getting the vaccine out and maybe with the one shot, it'll help get more people to get their shots and that everybody needs to to get their shot in order to get through this pandemic. Coach Meyer says it's too early to know when this vaccine will reach our area, but she says that doesn't mean you should wait for the vaccine. If you can get one now, you should. I'm not saying one is better than the other. I think just get your vaccine when you can and protect yourself. Because she says protecting yourself will help all of us make it to the finish line in the pandemic. For your 13 Weather Authority, Lauren Baker, 13 News. I think we all want to see that finish line shipment of the Johnson and Johnson vaccine started last night. The company says it expects to have 20 million doses by April.